that's nice. There are a number of ways that we can create subclips in Avid. I'm going to show you a couple of ways. Whichever method we decide, we have to start by first marking an in at the start of our subclip. So I'm going to mark it in here, right as this person is about to uh, jump into the water. And I'm going to mark an out at the end of my subclip. To create the subclip, I can come up here to the create subclip icon to the upper left of the source monitor and just simply drag and drop this into my bin and the subclip will appear directly in the bin. The other option is to just simply click and drag anywhere in the source monitor. When I click and drag, you'll notice that a box forms around the tip of my cursor. I can take this and just drag and drop to any bin. And that is yet another way to create a subclip. The third method is to use the create subclip button, which I've mapped here directly under my source monitor. If you don't have the create subclip button here, we can map it by going to the tools menu and opening the command palette. And the make subclip is located in the edit tab of the command palette. Once I have a mark in and mark out, now I can simply just press on the make subclip icon and again, the subclip will appear in the bin. So there we have it, three methods for creating subclips. Once we've marked uh, an in and an out, we can either drag and drop from the create subclip icon. We can drag and drop from anywhere in the source monitor, or you can use the create subclip icon and map that to any of the buttons under your source monitor or to your keyboard. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop. Thanks for listening.